Hey everyone and welcome to Daily Scuba News. Pictures appeared on an American Air Force Facebook forum of, uh, of the inside of a C-17 Globemaster plane transporting six Mark 7s, apparently that's the thing, but what is a six Mark 7 I hear you ask? Because even I don't know, because Mark wrote the script just before he left. Well, to use their whole name, these Mark 7 Marine Mammal Systems or to you know, use their most common name, they're, they're dolphins, they're just dolphins. Yes, the American military is shipping six highly trained dolphins who have been trained to find and locate underwater mines to an undisclosed location for a training exercise. Anyway, these Mark 7s, I'm just going to say dolphins, these dolphins are trained to search for underwater explosives and mark their locations by releasing a floating tag so even a dolphin can be taught how to send up a DSMB. Yeah. Anyway, once these tags hit the surface, obviously a human diver heads down to locate and disarm the device. Uh, as with so many military projects, we know very little about these dolphins, and the last time we saw them properly was in actually 2018 when they took part in a billennial, I, I don't know what this next word is that I'm saying, billennial RIM -rim pack exercise, whatever that is, I'm just a... Uh, what do they call it? I'm just a, um, uh, oh, what do they call it, Nick? Interact with me. Uh, an auto key monkey? No, you're not, no, you're the auto key monkey. Like a civvy, I'm just a civvy, so I don't know what these terms mean. Anyway, yeah, so some really, really cool exercise, uh, which is a huge uh, international maritime uh, warfare exercise, apparently, where militaries from all around the world, you know, they get to play games and pretend to shoot at each other and basically, you know, test all their gear and everything that they've created on themselves. So the Mark 7, uh, Mark 7s each have their own little tank and cradle with teams of men and women checking up on them to keep, you know, make sure that they're happy and healthy on their journey to their undisclosed uh, location. Uh, the military has most likely spent a lot of money on these girls and guys, these little dolphins, so they're gonna, you know, look after them. I would too. It's a, it's a big investment having six dolphins. Anyway, a single C-17 can carry 134 troops on board, but for these dolphins, they're just allowed, you know, six. So six whole dolphins have gone on this uh, big old plane, should we say. Anyway, but what do you think about all of this? Animals have always been used in the military, and uh, in this case, the dolphins can locate hidden explosives, then, you know, they can probably save quite a few lives. But is there a better way that, you know, they can be transported? Oh, is that where Mark was going with this? Okay, uh, let's have a discussion, you know, about mine hunting dolphins in the comments below. You know, America does it. Russia does it, we all do it. Is it a practice that actually, to be honest with you, needs to stop or do we need to invest more time in it? I'm gonna say stop so then we can actually, you know, just get ROVs and just get machines to do all our works. Anyway, let's have a discussion about it in the comments below. Thanks for watching and as always, stay classy scuba divers. So sadly, people with all kinds of disabilities can be actively discriminated against inside and outside the scuba diving industry, which of course really needs to change. And Depth Therapy have been working to squash this. Of course, it's not gonna happen overnight, but the fact that they are now working with Ray to offer new types of training is a massive step in the right direction.